Nikki Aiken. Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm sure that many of us in this House are looking forward to the possibility of catching up on some reading for pleasure during recess yeah. and it's with this in mind that I've been working with the UK's Publishers Association to compile the summer recess reading list for parliamentarians and I note that your own submission is God Save La France by uh, Stephen Clarke. My right honourable friend the Prime Minister's is a Scoop by Evelyn Waugh. The Speaker of the House is the Prime Minister's by Steve Richard and my own is by David Baddiel, Jews, Jews Don't Count. With this in mind, would my right honourable friend welcome the publication of this reading list and would he like to provide us with his own book recommendation? Yeah. 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 Th thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And the Scoop is such a wonderful and amusing book, so I'm very tempted to crib from the Prime Minister. But as I expect many members of the House, um, I have a number of books on the go, some in Somerset and some in London. I would particularly recommend uh, Mark Morris' The Anglo-Saxons, which is a really terrific uh, read. I'm currently also reading um, Ellis Peters' The Holy Thief, which is one of the Cadfell novels. So if you like a bit of who done it from the Middle Ages, that's not a bad one. And in a Middle Age theme, uh, Walter Hilton, The Ladder of Perfection, uh, is perhaps not the most popular book in the world at the moment, but it is still in print and has been uh, again since the Middle Ages. But over the summer, how can one resist reading anything other than P.G. Woodhouse? So I'm going to give two suggestions. One is Love Among the Chickens, which is Woodhouse's first novel um, and explains the complexities of compound interest uh, to anyone who is unaware of how compound interest works in relation to the breeding of chickens, uh, or always the Code of the Worcesters, and I'm particularly thinking of the Code of the Worcesters at the moment because in one of London's leading silver stores there is a choupé cow creamer on <laughs> offer, and I must confess I'm quite tempted.